Hey guys, it's your boy Chief coming back at you with another episode of Gold Rush the game. Well, um, currently we're at $414,000. 120 ounces of gold sitting there, so that should be. I probably owe Arnold probably 30 of those ounces, I think. If I remember right, that's like two cleanups. Um. Yeah, so probably th at least 30 of that's Arnold's, but um, you yeah, know, we're getting up there slowly but surely. Um, I came back to town because I had to, uh, the river is running dry because we're in the middle of summer. So I'm like, you know what, another eight grand, I'll just come and buy another water pump. So this way we can keep digging when the water, it doesn't do it. It's when it's really warm. See, 72, the water might still... It's 72 degrees, so the water might start flowing again. Possibly. Um, we'll see when we get back. It's at the night, it seems at night it gets cooler, so the water run, flows, and then during the day it gets pretty hot and the water stops running. So, right now we're at, like, 40% um, mats, I think, if... But everything's at a standstill because I don't have any water to, to run through it. So I'm like, yeah, let me just grab, grab this thing. We'll have an extra tank. Because I don't really don't want to fix the big tank. I don't want to spend the 150000 on it when I want to get the hell out of this this plant, you know, this plot anyway, and go to another one. So maybe with this week, and I don't know how long, 20. I'm kind of, that's the other thing. I'm kind of curious to see how long. I mean, if it's not broke, like my other one's broken again, so that one never runs out of water. Not that the when you're doing a clean out in the, you know, in our little, sh um, I keep forgetting what to call that stupid thing. Um, uh, storage, like a, yeah. Well, anyway, whatever you call that, a shed, a store, a shed, a storage shed, I think, I guess. Yeah, this thing keeps uh, it's stuck on 26. 24,000 gallons and like 80% fuel. So it never runs out of fuel, never runs out of water. And I don't know, I, you know. I was curious to see how fast the main, this whole system would burn through water. Uh, which would kind of get an idea because some of these, these machines actually have GPM flows on them. Or wait. I forgot if they have GPM on them. Um. Anyway, we would set up right here. Uh, wait a minute. Yeah, we'd have to set up right here. And then we'd have to bring these hoses. See, because there's no big outlet on this, obviously, on this thing. There's only a big inlet. There's another. So I'd have to get, that's to the shaker, and that's to the, all the, uh, to the, the small sluice boxes. So I'd have to connect these two hoses, yeah. Okay. Did I already disconnect this? Well, I guess I did. Alright, so we'll, um, yeah, we'll jack these in. Shouldn't be a thing for this for the water tank because it's ugly. Oh, damn it. What was it? What? Maybe with the truck out of the way or something. Oh, there we go. Okay, good. Right. So it was the truck was just like in the way or something. I was gonna say, this shouldn't be that picky. Too much we uh six hundred sixty feet, thirty forty two gallons per minute. So see it's pumping too much that's too much water. Damn it. The system can't handle this much water. Man that's not cool. 
Oh, wait a minute. That sounds like a... Unless this is flowing again, then we don't have to worry about this. Oh, yeah, it is. See? Yeah, look at the temperature now. It's 64 degrees. Ah, uh, whatever. That for nothing. Yeah, but that's okay. On the dry... I was hoping to be able to use it on the dry times, but it seems like it's not going to be enough. 42. I mean, it's just shy of... That's kind of... I kind of almost did that on purpose, didn't I? Just make it just shy of, one, of the right amount of water. That sucks, dude. So, like, this pump is only good for the... Um, Man, unless I canceled one of my, um, no, I can't, because that's where I get my best gold. I was going to say, cancel one of, shut off one of these guys. Let me think about this for a second. Flows through there. It's too bad that water just couldn't continue down. The, you know, you didn't have to water the, because the water comes right out these holes. So it should essentially feed these sluice boxes like it would do in real life and not need these hoses to feed it, but for some reason the system doesn't that. Uh, oh well, we got regular water, so we'll, um, I guess we'll try to figure out something when, I got these extra hoses for no reason. Well, one's a filler, we need that, but, um, alright, so let's turn the system back on, because we got water. My brain's like, bleh. Okay. Alright, water pump. Boom. And, uh, I need a conveyor belt, conveyor belt container. That one. one of them we want on and one of them we don't. Because it's over full with dirt. And I got another truck sitting there waiting. So as long as we want that, yeah, okay. We want the belt system, uh, basically the bucket system. Not the belt itself. Because this is full of 100. This got 100% sitting there ready. And the truck's got 100%. And then that belt also had 100%. So we were like backlogged on it. And then the, also the shaker had to be uh, 100%. So we only have 8% in our match, but like I said, I have pretty much 40, either 40 or 50% already ready to go. Dug it. Done and dusted, so. Um, yeah, pretty much. Man, I was going to take a screenshot of the dry lake, uh, dry riverbed, but. From a thumbnail. Look, that was a good screen. I kind of like that picture of the shaker. Let's take a screenshot of that. Alright, so F10 gets rid of your your HUD. So if you want to take a screenshot, and then F12, I mean, that's the screenshot in Steam. So if, I don't know if you can play this game without Steam, but the game itself, I don't, I couldn't figure out a way to take screenshots. Only through Steam could I do it, so kind of stinks, because then I have to go into Steam, find the screenshot, drag it out of the Steam folder, and put it into another folder. You know, it's a kind of thing, but, but, whatever. Alright, uh, what's empty so far? As soon as something empties out, we can turn these other ones. And then empty the truck. Okay, so that's empty. Yeah, okay, we're good. So we can turn the other part of the shape, uh, the conveyors on. Get that one. binge watch the whole, all the seasons all the way up to that season again to catch up, you know what I mean? Like a, like with uh, Game of Thrones, like I watched that every season basically a binge watch and then caught back up to this current season, so you know, that's kind of why they do it. But, um, okay, so that's empty. Alright, so now we can dump this truck in. Try to shut up my pickup truck and just sitting there. Up. So, 
the other day, I didn't finish lowering this and I got sidetracked, and then I was sitting there digging and putting dirt in, and it put a big pile of dirt behind it, and I'm like, what the hell? First I was like, why isn't this thing filling up? And then I noticed the dirt pile behind it, and it was just dumping right onto the ground, of course. But it was only up a little bit, like, uh, you know, like a, maybe a 10% um, grade, whatever, and you have the bucket up, you know, something like this, it was like this, so I didn't notice it when I was driving. But it'll still eventually dump, because see, the gap opens up right away. So it'll eventually dump out, so I don't know. Okay, anyway. So, um, as you can see, my valley here. Hold on a sec. Big ass valley. <laughs> and I was using this guy for doing the sides, but I got a little bored of doing that. So I switched back over to the bucket loader, and I remapped some of the keys for it. So now it's a little bit better to use. Before I wasn't having much fun with it, but now it's a little... It just seems... It's just more... Um, like I could do more like lowering and raising the boom while I'm driving and still stare and stuff. Because I mapped it to my mouse keys. Right, so I just wanted to finish digging out this trench. just digging out this trench, because there was good gold down here before, so... Actually, I had a 100-ounce cleanup when I got to the end of this. So I'm hoping that it's uh, going to be... Yeah, so I'm over talking and not raising the bucket while I'm, while I'm driving, but... Um, yeah. So you guys are going to have to spend a little time with me digging, because... Did I set my own? I did. Okay. Just so the video doesn't go too long. Right, so... What was I saying? Yeah, there was good gold down in this trench here. And there we go again. Boom, boom, boom. See, because you, you have to use... Like, see, your RPMs go up when you lower your boom. So you have to... So if you could do that while you're driving, you're going to save a little bit of gas. Before, I used to have to... Like, I'd go all the way back and then raise the boom. And that's why I couldn't stand about it because it took too, it was too long to do that. But now I can do it right while I'm driving. You know, when I'm not talking and actually focused and paying attention. Uh, we're stuck on there. Damn, I shouldn't have parked that there. I was kind of dumb. Well, whatever. So I'm going to have to move it. Actually, it's going to get on my nerves. This is like the corner I use all the time to to, um, to dump this into. Like, I use this corner right here. Like a pivot point for me. So that I put that basically right in the freaking way. But that's where I, I plan on... When I get done digging through this trench right here, I'm going to finish... Finish. I'm going to start a new line, or at least expand the trench out from right there with the excavator again, start that up again. Because this, you know, even though I have it remapped, it's still slower than the excavator. Like, I can dig out and get a whole truckload pretty damn fast with it. And obviously, the longer, the farther I go here, the more travel time I have to do. And uh, this thing is a gas hog, so I have to... Yeah, there we go. See, now we're done with we're using the same amount of gas to raise the boom at, and move move the vehicle. So, all right, now you're getting on there. So let's fix that real quick. Swing the boom out of the way. Okay. Turn it. Bring it in a little bit. There we go. That's all. That's all we needed. Um, only thing I hate is that you have to switch over to back to driving mode. You have, dig in mode, you can't get out of the vehicle. You gotta switch back to driving mode. You can turn on and off the vehicle from driving from uh, digging mode, but you can't get out. It is a bit annoying. I'm gonna change that. I, I guess I could probably key map it, but it's, you know, I do it all the time too. I'm like, shit. I gotta switch to freaking driving mode. And then sometimes I'll move the damn. I don't mean to, but I'll move. end up moving the, the vehicle. Because I was thought I was in the wrong mode. Man, it's, it really is a hassle. <laughs> the different mode for that thing. The digging and the driving. For all the other vehicles, there's no... There's just, you know, digging and driving at the same time. But, you know, that's got a lot more controls, so... Yeah, uh, yeah but, I mean, this, at least, to be fair, does fill the truck up in... Oh, there we go. Oh. Oh, that wasn't bad. See, I only... 
I'm going back and forth with these uh, with these cleanups. I'm having decent ones, then okay ones. At least I'm not having bad ones, I should say. 50 ounces is about average, but I had a decent... Like I said, I had one really good 100-ounce cleanup, and I was like, what the hell? And I think it was like on the right-hand side of that trench, like that whole upper slope there, I think was that really good goal. Because I... You know, I try to put the excavator in a spot where I don't have to move it for a whole cleanup. I can just dig all around that area for a whole. So usually I can kind of track it. I mean, I, I don't have the drill machines, obviously, so I can't set those squares so you can see where you're... You could basically dig out a whole square. I hate when stuff is going to be... That's right, we'll grab one more bucket. Um, yeah, so once I have... You know, you could find the good squares and then leave it marked. So you have a uh, kind of a guide where to dig. But, um, that machine, well, no, it's not too expensive. I could buy it, but I'm not going to buy it for Arnold's claim. I haven't, you know, I haven't been spending, I mean, I got another worker, to be fair. So now we're at three workers, and he's on the ST sluice box, which is up, the one up above where you, the nugget, where you get the nuggets, basically. And um, he empty, he'll empty the nugget nader into a bucket for you, which is really good. Really nice. You don't have to do that. That's one less step of the clean out process you have to actually do, so kinda like that. But um his upgrades it's only if you're gonna do once you get all your workers in place and then you could start double clean outs. Not that I kinda I mean it depends on the dig I'm doing. If the digging's going really fast and I'm, I have to do a clean out like not with this machine, but with this, I have to do cleanouts. I could probably do almost two cleanouts a day. Like the daytime cycle lasts almost, so I can almost fit in two cleanouts. But it's a lot of digging to do two cleanups. I mean, I kind of get bored of it, so I want to do something else. So I don't mind doing a cleanup in between. But my point being is, you can. Um, what the hell was my point there? My point is, you can't really upgrade. Like one guy, you need like all your your workers in place because you can't do a double clean out without having them. Well, I guess you could, but you'd have to stop in between. It really wouldn't be technically a double clean out if you know. So yeah, we're at thirty seven percent. Okay, a little less than I thought. But shit. Um, I gotta sneeze. Excuse me. Shoo! Bless me. Okay. Right. You can't technically do a double clean out without having the workers. To swap the buckets out or else you're going to have to especially on the mats and I, I don't have anybody working on mats yet I haven't gotten any workers for that yet I got bucket guys I got actually three bucket guys right now but no that's it yeah that's it basically we got one for up top and then one each on the bottom ones and that's all I have not a single mat guy yet but I'm sure it'll come eventually but we've been getting like a worker like every three days or something it's really been I got one, it was a Frankenstein. One that was a Frankenstein machine, so that was a bust. Can't use him for. They definitely changed the game a lot, made it a lot different than it was. Like before, you got. You know, the length of time I've been playing right now, I've ar I would already have been on tier 5 and been pretty much done with the game because there would be nothing else to buy and I'd be on the best land. And They made it more, have more playability now, but the problem is got a little spoiled from that before, the way it worked before, having everything, uh, you know what I mean, like, you have to do a lot more, like, see, I can't, I'm having trouble getting off of Arnold's Claim, man, like, I, this might take me two, probably gonna take two seasons to get off Arnold's Claim, before I can afford to buy anything else, like, I need 1.2 million to get the next, that's the next claim, it's not even that great. And a lot of people say just skip right over that claim, but I'm hoping maybe they did something, made it a little bit better. It's supposed to have medium gold, so it should have better gold than we have here, but... And I kind of, the way this is playing out, I kind of want to do all the claims. You know, just see how we do. Um, the only trouble is the one between... The next one, I forget the names, it's Rivertown, I believe, is the next one. And then the one after that is Pine Valley, and then the last one is Nighthawk. So, or Nighthawk something, something or other like that. But um, I think if we got the next claim, the one point, let's bounce right off that. Okay. 
Um, 1.2 million. I know I'm not doing as well. It's, it's hard. I don't do a really good digging job when I'm talking. But, so hopefully you guys can bear with that. Um, I'm a lot more efficient when I'm doing this uh, single player. I mean, when I'm talking. So my point is, when I get... Let's say we go to Nighthawk. Uh, not Nighthawk. We go to Rivertown next, right? The medium one for 1.2 million. Because the next one is uh, 1. 1.8 million. So after that. And then... Nighthawk Valley is 2.4 million or something. That's how it goes. So we go to Nighthawk Valley, or Rivertown rather, and uh, we start digging there, move all our equipment over, start digging there, start upgrading our equipment to the better, the better equipment, then dig for a while there. See, I didn't read it. Don't lose my train of thought. Then start digging there. And getting all our equipment upgraded and probably getting a lot more workers going and then we'll probably really have the gold flowing pretty good so we will probably end up skipping over the third the third lot not uh nighthawk rivertown nighthawk what's the one? Uh, rivertown. i forgot the name of it see i knew i was gonna forget the name of it again but the third lot we probably would be able to skip that one right over but guess, maybe, I don't know, we'll have to see what happens, because, it just, I guess it's just going to depend on the amount of gold we get out of, out of Rivertown, because if it's crappy still, and there's not that much gold there, then maybe it'll be enough for us to, well, maybe we have to do the same thing we're doing now, keep working until we get enough money to get off that, and then go to the, the high claim, the high gold amount claim, and then, of course, Nighthawk is very high, so that'll be the last one. Yeah, maybe that's how it's going to be. The next one's not going to... With the changes they made, maybe it'll be okay gold. Like, you know, here we're getting 50 gold, 50 uh, ounce cleanouts. Maybe we'll have on average there 75 ounce cleanups or something. I don't know. We'll have to see. But, um, but then there's, you know, once we do a lot of the upgrades to the machines, you get more and more bonuses. Basically, more efficient... And the workers start giving you bonuses and all that, so there's a lot more, uh, a lot to be had. But that stuff's, you know, it's all expensive to be paid. You know, that tier, the tier five stuff's really expensive. You got, you know, if you could wait, hold out and wait till winter again, you could do that. Maybe we're getting into, we're in summer right now, so yeah, you know, by the time we hit, I don't, I don't even have an estimate for. How long it's going to take us to get uh, the 1.2 million? We need to move out of here, but and that's the other thing. We won't be playing. Uh, man, come on. We won't be paying royalties anymore. Don't forget. So that that'll be huge. That's a third of our our gold every day goes out in royalties. So that's the other thing. So that's what I'm saying. That's why it seems to it seems like it's probably going to happen is that either we go to the last place. We'll have the, let's put it this way, we'll have the ability to go to the last place. Doesn't mean we have to, we can always, uh, uh, change, uh, botch this up again. We can always, uh, do what we want to do, but, you know, uh, yeah, this might get, be getting kind of boring for you guys. I'm trying to talk and, and keep you guys, uh, entertained, but, um, that messes up my digging. <laughs> As you can see, I'm terrible. I, like, I'm awful at it. Like, talking, and I can't do bubble gum and walk. <laughs> That's why I don't think I'd make a very good streamer, I guess. But, um, you know, especially in a video like this, right now, dude, there's not much going on in the game. Like, uh, I don't know why that. Oh, I'm still building. That's all right. Put that a little bit there. See, my pitch is. We're supposed to be sideways on this, and that's why it's causing me grief. I parked the truck wrong. It should have been straighter, more. So I don't have to sit on this angle of the hill trying to unload. That makes it tough. You, you want to be, um... Yeah, you want to have it. But that's okay, we'll fix it next week. In the next run. Yeah, this was way off. Botched it all up. Um... So, I bought another wave table, too, as well. So, now I have two wave, wave tables, which speeds things up, because that was kind of the, the magnetite, the magnet, 
mag magnet tater or whatever the hell you call it. I got the hiccups. Sorry, guys. Um, yeah, that magnet machine, that thing rips through it fast. That's not a problem. The only problem is switching the buckets up, but, um, which is not a problem. I'm just saying it's the only real thing you have to do with that machine, but the wave table is pretty slow. With two wave tables, you could rip right through it nice, because I end up with six buckets to clean out every time, so with two wave tables, you got two going at the same time, you, you, pretty go, you go through it pretty good, so it's a lot faster. See, now if I straighten this out and put it right here, my normal parking spot, now when I bring the, the bucket loader up, he's going across the hill instead of up and down the hill, basically. I just show you. This over here, and now we're dumping it. We're going sideways along, along the hill, not up and down the hill. So it, it doesn't roll around when you're trying to unload it. So usually I get to a certain spot in the parking brake, but <laughs> that's when I can focus on what I'm doing and I'm not, uh, my jaw's not jabbing. But, uh, da -da -da. So I don't know. I don't, what do you guys think? Do you like the changes that they made to the game? Like, I think it has more playability now. I just think we got spoiled the way they had it before. It was too easy to get to Tier 5. Like, Tier... That's the other thing, you know. Like, I'm going to probably still skip over Tier 4 because they have it... The way they have it set up, it's... The, the difference is, is small. Like, once you're in Tier 3, you might as well stay in Tier 3 until you get to Tier 4. No real, I mean, tier five. There's no point really to stop at tier four, so that means some of the machines you're not going to use. It's unfortunate, but uh, you know, I don't know. I mean, I guess I could for video sake is build tier four stuff, but that's that's the other thing. You got to take apart your whole plant basically to do that. And it's kind of a yeah, I could. So I guess I could price it and see maybe when we make the move to the new place, we'll, we'll look at tier four equipment like. Maybe you should replace the trommel, replace the shaker, and the two jigs. Yeah, I guess that's possible. I guess that's something we could look at. That might be uh, actually, for the series' sake, might be worth doing. In actuality, not that I think about it. Because it, you know, I try to make a good series that is entertaining and stuff, but it runs out of, like I could obviously do videos that of me digging and digging and digging, try to entertain you with my with my words, but, um, you know, it gets boring to watch that. I know, I know, I don't know. You know, I watch other people's videos. Although, to be fair, I do have, you know, a couple guys I watch, and, like, one, my main guy I like to watch, um, uh, Mike's 1080p. I don't know if you guys have seen that guy, and if, if you haven't, go ahead and check out his videos. He's got, like, 80 videos his last series for this game, which is kind of a lot. 80 videos? I'm on 16, and, um, you know, but uh, he does a lot of editing, editing with his videos, and I don't really do too much editing because it's really is time consuming. The only edit I'll do is if uh, my computer freezes and I have to restart the video over. <laughs> I might edit that, like edit the how to make. Uh, you know, I don't know. It's just tough. I don't like to do editing. I don't really want to get my arms to edit. Um. You know, I don't really want to do too much editing because, it, like I said, it's too time-consuming and it, I don't want this to be my whole... What is, what's going on here? Oh, I turned off the engine. I don't want this to take up all my time, you know, as video editing. Because then you get burnt out on it and you don't want to... You know, unless you're making a lot of money from it, which is not going to be the case in, in this case. But uh, I do it right now for, like, a hobby, basically. I don't want it to become a... I don't want to not enjoy my hobby, you know what I mean? I don't want to enjoy it, so video editing to me is not very fun. But, that's the difference. His quality of videos are going to be a lot better than mine because he spends the time... In, but he spends, you know, a good three hours on editing every time he makes a video, pretty much every day. So that's a lot of work to me, man. I just hit record and go, and then hope you guys are entertained enough. But, you know, he has a decent following for this game. You know, he has a lot of players following him, so doing well, so I guess that's the trade-off. If I want to do really well, um, you know, maybe, maybe I have to do, I don't know, I don't know if it's worth it yet, we'll see.
right now we're doing good. We're getting decent views every day. All the videos are getting reviews. I'm starting to get some comments on videos and more and more subscriptions every day. I'm almost to 50, which is pretty good. Seeing I was at like 30 a week ago. So, you know, it takes time to build a channel and build a brand, basically. So, as long as you guys keep, uh, keep watching, I'm going to keep doing it. And if I get to, I guess, to a plateau, I know there's only so much I can get out of this game. Because there's not a lot of, you know, it was released a year ago. You know, games have their best life when they first get up, come out. But back then, that's the other thing. Here's the sound again. Look, that sound bug on this truck. This this game, the way they had it set before you, you could beat the game so quickly. Like, you got to Tier 5 and you had all kinds of gold and there was nothing left to buy, so you didn't have to do anything. It, you know, you basically beat the game. So there's not a whole lot of... Oops, I almost did it. Oh, I don't it. That's okay. There's not a whole lot of video you can... Uh, make on that. You know, I tried to make a series of this a while ago, and I only got like 10 videos of it, and it didn't have much success, because for one, they didn't, up, there wasn't too many updates to the game. Yes, there was the Frankenstein machinery and stuff, but um, that was about it. They weren't tweaking the working, the inner workings of the game. Like, the worker situation wasn't fixed yet, like they have it now. Yeah, that was the other thing. Before, you could just have your workers doing all your work. I know all your... You can pretty much that so many times. You can pretty much just buy all the land and then just set up workers and have them dig the gold for you. So you didn't even have, essentially have to do anything. And they didn't, they did it without, you know, they, they didn't move the machine or anything. You just assigned somebody to a machine and then you got instant gold coming into your, your coffer basically every day. It was really bad. They shouldn't even have introduced, my thinking is they shouldn't have introduced the workers back then when that was the only system they had. The only way of having them work is by just doing it like you know, just making instant gold for you, basically. It, it, it just wasn't cool. And it made the game too easy and too quick to play and done with it, but... Anyway. Um, where do we leave off here? Let's see what the percentage is. 58. Uh, I got a ways to go, guys. We're going to probably get to 60-ish percent. I was going to try to do a cleanup with you guys today, but... I don't know. I guess this was just to be a digging video and just uh, letting you guys know what's up and what's going on, so... We'll get to you. We'll get another video going here in another day or so. When we get some more money. When we get closer to the one million mark, probably, which won't be too long. We're doing okay. We're doing okay. We're doing about a hundred thousand a day, so you know, eight more days maybe, and then we'll we'll come up with a plan. For, like I said, for maybe getting a tier four equipment when we move over to the next lot plot. Um, not plot. What the hell do you call these things? Parcel. Okay, so this was this has been your boy Chief. I appreciate you guys coming by. Um, if you like the video and you want to see more, uh, please do me a favor, hit subscribe, help my channel grow, help me uh, get more motivation, to do more videos, and I'll certainly do that. Uh, like if you can, if you can't, if you don't want to subscribe, hit the like button for me at least. Leave a comment down below. All that stuff helps out. Until the next video, guys. I will see you. Have a good one. This has been your boy Chief, and I am out. Later's.